Today, we're going to learn how the percolate down method works. Hello, I'm James Helfrich. The priority queue is a data structure that makes sure that the topmost element is the greatest element in the collection. And this is done by keeping everything in a heap. A heap is a data structure where every element in a binary tree is greater than or equal to the two children nodes. But how is this heap constraint honored? And the, the answer is the percolate down function. We're going to learn how the percolate down function works today. Okay, the percolation process is the process of moving the greatest item towards the front or the top of the heap. Now, how does this function work? We're going to start by taking the heap index, and we're going to find the left child and the right child by multiplying the index by 2 and then by 2 plus 1. Now, if the element to the left is greater than the parent or the element to the right is greater than the parent, we want to remember that with our index bigger variable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to swap that element with the parent and then call percolate down on whichever of the two is bigger. Let's find out how that works. Okay, to see how this works, take a look at this heap. Now I want to call percolate down at index 13. To just remind myself what the algorithm is, I'm going to have my percolate down method to the right here. Now index 13 corresponds to value 11. And to remind myself of that, I'm going to draw my indices down. Now my number of elements is 13, which is represented in a num variable. So I'm going to find my index left and index right, which would be 26 and 27, which, by the way, are greater than num. And so when I go through my first if statement, my index bigger will be my left index. But now I'm going to attempt to, to swap those elements. But since I am not less than num, I don't go into the if statement and I'm done. And that's my termination condition. Okay, let's work on a different problem. We're going to call percolate down on index 6. And once again, I'm going to remind myself what my algorithm is, and I'm going to draw my indices. Now, my left index and my right index are going to be index times 2 and times 2 plus 1, which would be 12 and 13. Now, which one's bigger? Well, index right is bigger, because uh, 64 is bigger than 38, which is also bigger than my main index. So um, now I can go into my swap, and I'm going to swap 64 and 59. Now I'm going to call the program again because this is recursive and my index left and index right are going to be 26 and 27. And this is going to be, I'm not less than num, so I'm going to go into the failure condition and I'm going to stop. So now my heap is in proper format. Okay, let's look at another example. We're going to call percolate down at index 3. So here's my heap. I'm going to remind, my, remind myself of my algorithm and then I'm going to draw my indices down. Now I'm going to compute my left and right index since my index is 3. My left index will be 6, my right index will be 7. And now I'm going to see which one is bigger. It looks like 85 is bigger, which is my left index. So I'll remember that. And then um, I'm going to perform a swap, and I'm going to swap my 85 with my 59. Am I finished? No, I'm going to call percolate down again. And I'm going to compute a new set of indices, which would be 12 and 13. And it looks like my right index is bigger. So I'm going to swap uh, those elements. Then I'm going to call it one final time, and my index be 26 and 27, which is off the chart, and looks like I'm finished. One final example. We'll call percolate down on the node with 64. Um, I'm going to compare the two children. It looks like 89 is bigger, so I'm going to swap it. Now I'm going to call percolate down on the node with 64. It looks like 73 is bigger, so I'll swap it. And then I'm going to call percolate down on his two children. Um, and it looks like 64 is greater than 38 or 59, so I'll stop. To learn more about this, take a look at the percolate down section in the C++ data structures textbook.